and once we have submitted the changes the code build try to build again and deploy on our ansible server in the your account So the network problem. So this me scroll down here and receive the password. So the username is Azure. User. Then then it's up. Connect session. Is the best thing as your user password? And then connect our best. That's right. So we'll clear that ls cd devops ls come back so we have, we have to wait until the deployment finish so in the meantime i will go into my ansible sorry to my azure my azure account and Create my X stack component that is Kibana and the Elasticsearch. So I will start with, with creating new VM for our Elasticsearch. So as long as we, uh, we are able only to launch one bastion in virtual network this time i will try to uh, to connect to my to my elastic search in azure account via the bastion that is in the aws account because this this bastion in this bastion in aws can interact with the with the any host or any machine or any Azure VM that reside in the Azure as long as we have a creating a VPN or a secure connection between the two accounts. So let me come down here and give it name Elastic Search Server. Server. We scroll down here. And they will allow the, the public key, right? And then I will generate a new key pair, but I have already existing key pair. 
that is Ansible server key. That I have already created and it is stored here. So I'm going to scroll down here, right? And they will open the port SSH because I want to make an SSH from my bastion on AWS account to this Elasticsearch to install the dependencies on it and configure some files. So scroll down management network. I don't want to have IP address for this session and they want it to be in private submit to scroll down go with the default mix management advanced tags and then review and create I will go here and copy this private key create file and call it Azure VM for 10 and paste that continent here and save that file I have to change the permission to this file Azure Now I have to create that instance and connect to it. So the deployment is still in progress. So the deployment finished successfully we try to come come here and refresh our hub or our docker hub it would now find that new image here that is ingress web app so so it's created now let me come back to resource and use its private ip address right so they will use it i will need it ssh i azure file sorry azure and then azure i will log in as your azure user at and paste the ip address Sorry. This is one hundred and ninety two, one hundred sixty eight, two dash four, and then I will SSH like yes. Now I'm able to get in my elastic search. The first thing that I'm going to do is install the Elasticsearch dependency. So scroll down here, up here, and then I will execute these lines of code on my Elasticsearch server. I will copy that, paste it here, and then keep it running. in the meantime i want to test if this image work or not so for that i will try to use docker and run it using only docker so for that let me clear clear that 